Hi, thanks for watching this video. Let me give you a quick tour of the RV. First of all, we have the front tires that uh, are in very good condition. And the engine is a Ford E350, works perfectly. Here we have the first storage compartment. Not that big, but we store here the water hoses, the jack and oil for the generator. Everything you see here will be included in the RV. Here we have the propane tank and the, the lid here is a little bit damaged, but nothing very important. And the capacity is seven gallons. Seven gallons. And we fill it with around twenty dollars, and it lasts for very long, like a month if you use it every day. The back tires are in very good condition. We changed them in September, uh, so they have almost eight thousand miles on them. They are almost new. And here we have the back storage compartment. It looks very small, but you can store a lot of, a lot of things in there. So everything you see here is stored in there and everything will be included on with the price of the RV. You have some door mats, some basic tool, electric extension, and chakra starter, a small table. So we'll sell the RV with everything you see here. Here on the back side, we have the water heater. heater. We changed the water heater in October, so it has less than one month of use. It works perfectly. Uh, the capacity of this water heater is six gallons. Six gallons. Of water. This is our one of the few RVs that have a spare tire, so that's very handy. Um, the protection here is a little bit damaged because of the sun, but the spare tire is in very good condition too. And there is a little bit of frost on the rear bumper, but nothing to worry. And this RV also has the possibility to tow a vehicle that has everything you need to tow a, a car. Connections and the on this side we have all the electric connections and here we have the generator and the battery the battery it's almost new. We bought it in September, I think. It's a deep cycle battery and works perfectly. And here we have the generator. It's a 4000. Uh, it's run with gas and works and runs perfectly too. So it's very handy to have electricity. Though we've been doing dry camping almost all this one and a half months and the battery is enough for that yes, we... of the lights inside our VR lit so they last very long yeah. here we store the hose for the sewage so it's very handy to store it here and it will also be included with the RV yes um, let me show you the trunk for you. The engine runs absolutely great and very smoothly. You don't even have we haven't had any problem with the engine in the last two months we have been on the road 
Um, so as you can see, everything looks good. So that's for the outside of the RV. Uh, it has some minor scratches um, uh, because of the use, but just some, just very, very minor. And uh, it's fiberglass on the top, uh, so it's very handy for ins insulation. Let me show you the inside. So here we, here we have the dinette for, for people. Every seat has his seat belt and this can then be transformed into a bed. Let me show you. It's very quick and easy. Just remove this one. Lower the table. And this can, can be used as um, another bed if you need to. Also, there is a little bit of storage underneath. Seats. We have a little bit of storage. There's a water tank here, so there is not much place. It's room, but there's a little bit of storage. And on the other, under the other seat, also have a little bit of storage. <laughs> And also, if you need to, here you have hooks to install a child seat. <laughs> so here we have more storage areas. And also all the lights are LED. So, in one lighting. of them you have two options, like two lights and one light. And they are LID, so they last very long with the battery. You have the bed over there. We install a rail here, so it's more secure. We also bought a three, three inches mattress stopper to put on top, so it's more comfortable. Um. It will also be included with the RV. On this side we have more storage here, a little bit more storage here and we did some improvement. We installed a lid here so you can remove this one and we installed a lid here and we also installed a crib here that you can put here and you have a little bit more storage underneath here. So on the rear side we have the kitchen, we have a lot of places to store different things if you need to. A lot of drawers to store different kinds of things. This one is bigger. We also have some room underneath the sink and two more drawers. Here we have the sink and the faucet. We install a new faucet, so it's very handy, works great. We have two options, and we have a soap dispenser here that's very handy. So on this side of the kitchen, you have the stove that works great. Both of them. I don't know if you can see it, but. They are both working. We have also a hood here with a hood fan that works and a light. In this area we have all the levels so we can test the levels and everything is working fine. We have the water pump that you can turn on or off. We have the water heater if you turn it on. You can listen to the water heater starting. So 
so it takes about 15 minutes to have hot water and then we have the generator you just have to press it to start it and you can stop it from here there is also a furnace that's underneath the fridge it can be controlled over here so you just have to turn it on set the temperature and it starts on this side we have the fridge that works with gas or electricity if you are connected to electricity and here we have the freezer and the latch of the freezer lid is broken but it's not a big problem because it, it gets closed when you close the fridge anyway. so to turn on and off the fridge you just press this button here you have the microwave you need to have the generator running to turn on the microwave or to be hooked, hooked. and here we have the air conditioning so the air conditioning works with the generator so now the generator is started so we just have to press here set it to air conditioning set the temperature and the air conditioning starts it will also work if you're hooked up yes so here you have a bathroom let me show you it's a wet bathroom it has a shower with hot and cold water you have the toilet of course and we installed a little bit of storage here and you have a ventilation here and it is small but you have everything you need and here's also the medicine cabinet for more storage here up front it, you have also some other storage areas and we have been using an inverter 400 watt inverter that has two plugs and to USB. It's very handy to charge computers or other things when you are driving. Um, you have the radio here and everything works fine. Let me show you how the RV starts. So it starts perfectly and runs very smoothly. So it's very easy to drive. Because of the size, it's very easy to park and you can park in any parking spot, so that's a great advantage of this RV. And you can adjust the mirrors. You have electric mirrors. Um, yes, very easy to drive and gives you about 12 miles per gallon. So, also here we have the RV owner manual, in case you need it, you have all the information. And we have been using the RV now during the fall, so we have been uh, sleeping in cold temperature. So we built those insulations that you can install in all the windows. They are very easy to install. And keep the light out and keep the inside nice and warm and also here you have a curtain you also build a custom made crib that can be installed in this seat let me show you how I just remove this one and you have two Extension here. This is 
the full of a cream and just unfold it. And then you use the velcro here. So it's very easy and fast to install and very handy if you have a baby.